she's had recurrent effusion of the knee. Uh, she has uh, probably between a two plus and a three plus effusion. Uh, for effusions, it's better to aspirate the knee from the lateral side uh, where you can feel the IT band and uh, you'll find that there isn't quite as much synovium uh, just on the other side of the IT band so the uh, fluid can be extracted a little bit more easily and you don't have the problem with the uh, needle being uh, uh, filled with uh, synovium uh, period. Uh, so we'll mark this and then we'll aspirate that from the lateral side. Okay, we're going to mark the knee. I'm going to palpate uh, for the patella, which is here. And once we mark the patella, you can see how swollen the lateral side is here. And we feel that that's fairly fluid filled. So it's right around 3 plus. It's not tense, which is what I intend for a 4 plus. And so we'll kind of come about one thumb breath up and one thumb breath over. So we'll aspirate basically right in this area. We're going to go ahead and prep up the area. Let's see, I'm kind of make sure we do everything down through here. Mm -hmm. Know where the thumb is, I mean where the patella is. Uh, come on the other side, please, please. And then we're going to spray some ethyl chloride spray so that we can get that. Okay. Go in here and then we feel a pop. Okay, we're now we're in. And we just kind of draw back and we allow the fluid to fill into the syringe. And I have my assistant wear the gloves and then uh, have contact with the bodily fluids. Uh, what you do here is you just keep general pressure. If you use too much pressure, then the synovium will come into the uh, edge of the uh, 18 gauge needle and stop flowing. If it does, then a little trick to get it flowing again is just uh, take the syringe off of the uh, needle and allow the fluid just to flow through the needle and <clears throat> into a basin. You have a hemostat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I'll do that. There we go. Okay. Just to kind of show you, we'll uh, change this. Uh, no, not ready yet. Go ahead and take. Uh, empty that and then bring that back to me. You can see here's the empty fluid. Uh -huh. And if we press on here, you can see that we can get some more fluid out, but just uh, manipulating the knee a little bit and letting it uh, come out. That's fairly easily flowing, and you can see it's kind of viscid, which again gives you the impression it's not infected. And then we'll go ahead and throw out some more. And how much you do, basically when uh, you start feeling some pretty good back pressure on the syringe, and that's the time that I stop and see if more of it wants to come out, if I feel like there's still a lot in there. Are you having any pain while I'm doing this? It hurts a little bit. Okay. The real key to not hurting a lot is just to uh, have the pressure uh, sort of steady and allowing it to empty the knee. Then Louise, if you can go on the other side of Sharon, go on the other side of Sharon and give me a little pressure over on that side just a little bit. Yeah, if you just kind of shut the knee down a little bit, then you can get a little bit more fluid out because it forces it over here where it is. Now we're starting to get a little bit of uh, hematoma, uh, and again, that'll be from the veins in the area. That's okay, Louise, we're going to be done now. And so we've gotten now a total of about 90 cc's. Uh, and she's had this uh, evaluated at her rheumatologist's office, so we're not going to send it for appropriate studies today. And then we just come in, use the same needle, and inject, and then we're done. And then Louise is going to clean that up and uh, give her a Band-Aid. And uh, as, the, as her uh, rheumatologist did, we have her lie down because it was a reflex uh, with a very tight joint with a lot of fluid. When you take the fluid out, it's not uncommon for the patient, again, to get a vasovagal attack. And so we usually let the patient lie down for a few minutes until everything feels good, have them sit up, make sure they feel okay, uh, and then have them go ahead and uh, get dressed.